1753 in Africa she was born, but at seven years old, life moved on to America as a slave, but she didn't stress it, rocked it out with her studies, every one was like, shit, yeah. Latin, yeah, she studied the classics, when she picked up a pen and paper, they were like, yes, the first published black American in history, when people wanted the real deal, they said, go with me, it's me, she traveled to London to publish her poetry. The King of England, he even wanted to meet weekly. She met really big names like Benjamin Franklin. They supported her work, so she had to thank him. She wrote poems about it. Even the president, George Washington, wrote to her, said her work was excellent. But some said that a black girl could never write so well. Well, now Miss Wheatley will convince and compel. Miss Wheatley, the original pop star, Miss Wheatley. She can't help but Miss Wheatley. The original pop star, Miss Wheatley. She can't help but Miss Wheatley. The original pop star, Miss Wheatley. She can't help but Miss Wheatley. At the time, some thought color decided your talent, so she had to persuade a group of lawyers and lieutenants. A couple dozen founding fathers, the list had no end. Look, man, she's the real deal, she can never pretend. Eventually, they all said that she was legit. Wrote 145 poems, no doubt about it. Some fought with the sword, Wheatley fought with the pen. Her words march in the hearts of women and men. Look, sweetie.